Hello, I'm Artifax of Mars, and today's Piggy Award goes out to the Kansas Department of Environmental Conservation, or whatever they're called, uh, Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. And today's Piggy Award goes out to the Game Warden that did this, and Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. A family was... Uh, a mule deer had gotten really friendly with them. A deer would come in their house, and they would feed it, tend it to it, and then let it out, and then would go back out to uh, deal with other deer. The video you're seeing, however, uh, by the way, that's separate. On December 19th, 2016, Kansas Game Wardens came to the house of Mark and Kim McAfee regarding a deer they said was so the family is being kept illegally as a pet. The mule deer doe, which family had named Feline, and which they had, they had had for about 22 months, was eventually shot and killed by the game wardens a few minutes later on the property. Video courtesy of Taryn McCoffey. A Western family is angry that game wardens killed a deer that had been their pet for about 22 months and was like one of the family. Kim McAfee said deer would butt its head on the door, it would be let in the house, go on walks with the family, snuggle with people, and play with their grandson and dogs. She is very much a big pet. There's no reason for her to be killed. Her being de domesticated was her own doing. She chose to stay. I never kept her from going out away and being with other deer. It's illegal to keep a wild animal as a pet in Kansas. State wildlife officials say something had to be done about two-year-old mule deer. Did you have to shoot the deer and kill it? Couldn't you have taken that deer and uh, stick her with a, you know, knock her out and take her a long ways away from there so she couldn't find these people no more? At least two people have been killed in Kansas by pet deer, according to the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism. The department said it was trying to protect people from being physically injured by a deer and eliminate possibility of disease being passed to humans, livestock, and other deer. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. You're being, you're being a bunch of mentally disordered liberals. Uh, I mean, some rules. I, I have mixed feelings on this, but no. You're just a bunch of mentally disordered liberals who are control freaks, and you want to. Control everybody and everything. In these cases, our officers have to decide what options there are. We might be able to relocate the animal, release it back in the wild, or take it to some kind of rehab facility. It should have relocated it, if anything else. Unfortunately, once they become imprinted on people, euthanasia is almost always the final outcome. Our officers on the scene felt shooting deer was about their only option. McCarthy uh, plans to speak at Kansas Wildlife Parks and Commission meeting Thursday in Emporia. Robin Johnson, the Wildlife and Parks Secretary, says he's confident the game wardens acted within their authority. That is a lie. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire but would like the agency to re-examine its policy on euthanizing wildlife. All of our people have a real heart for wildlife. That is a lie. You are a liar. That is bullshit. I cannot imagine any of our employees enjoying something like this, Jonathan said. They don't have to imagine. I'm sure they did. These things are never easy, but I think we... Really have to come up with a policy that better handles.
That is incredible bullshit. These kinds of things. Um, Mr. Jennison, sir, you need to see a psychiatrist because you know you're lying. And you are apparently a serial liar. No, apparently about it. The shooting has drawn debate within the state's wildlife community. Some say it's important that wildlife should not be kept as pets. Others say it can be beneficial to animal, and more importantly, to humans and the rest of the wildlife. Jim Mason, director of Great Plains National Center in Wichita, says such laws have often are often made to protect wildlife from people who don't know how to care for an animal. All bullshit. They knew how they were tending to the animal. That is bullshit. All too often said, the young animals were taken by well-meaning people, not knowing they were being cared, still being cared for by their natural mothers. He said it's possible an animal as large as a deer could hurt a human. In some cases, pet buck deer. Charged by hormones during the annual breeding season, have gored people, even females, Mason said could be dangerous. It would probably be like uh, being pounded by a claw hammer instead of a doe slashing someone with its hooves. People actually get deer, get killed by deer that were their little buddy only a week before. Juan Ron Klatask, the Audubon of Kansas director, say the risks are minimal. Giving the public a close look at a deer, coyote, squirrel, and raccoon can spark interest in con conservation. Many of the history's greatest conservationists, including Teddy Roosevelt, hand wild animals as pets. Klataski said he had pet vultures, coyotes, and other animals when he was growing up on the Kansas farm in the 1950s. Yeah, that's when he had freedom instead of these tyrants. And this goes on and on. Uh, these are control freak authoritarians, basically. These people weren't doing any harm. Let's see, uh... What it says near the end of this, because I'm not going to go through all of it, but... Uh, it says you can get a permit to kill a deer, you can kill as many crows or prairie dogs as you want, and David can't have one in captivity or have it as a pet. So I think things have gone too far. <sighs> yeah, things have gone too far. Like I said, these are authoritarians. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They believe that the common people are a waste of skin. I may mean, paraphrase uh, Star Trek. I get that from one of the episodes of uh, Star Trek. It was the uh, episode Neutral Zone. Star Trek Next Generation. They believe that humans and Klingons are waste of skin. Well, these people in uh, these. Department of Environmental Conservation or whatever, Kansas Wildlife Parks and Commission, they believe that the common people are a waste of skin. So a piggy ward, I've gone a little long on this, but a piggy ward goes out to the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism for having killed that uh, their pet deer there and... I think you, I think it's a shame what you did. I think you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. And I think you ought to uh, get some of your lying spokespeople 
into a mental health facility so they can learn to tell the truth for a change. I'm Artifacts Mars. This has been this has been a Piggy Award and a Mental Disorder Liberalism Award too. I smell uh, quite a bit of liberalism here. Thanks for watching.